Okay. I think we may be live. Yeah, we're definitely live. So, it's me, Commander Barbara Mazuski, coming to you across the Intergalactic Interstellar Relays. Uh, what are we doing? Um, the same thing we always do, Pinky. Try to unlock Luton 347-14. Um, we're unlocking uh, permits. Um, and that's what we're doing. Uh, we're in a place called Stopover. Um, that is basically uh, a system called Stopover. And we're in a dark and mysterious station called Dark Water. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, that's what's going on. So let's have a look at the spreadsheet. Um, you know what, I'll just bring that up. There we go, there's our spreadsheet. So our spreadsheet, uh, this is what we're doing here. We are unlocking Luton 34714, which is a prison colony. So we're, we're gonna go and help out some prisoners again. Um, that's the plan. Um, yeah, so we'll give that a shot and see how we go. Um, it's all good. Well, the good news is uh, I've done quite a bit of this already. I've um, already um, done quite a bit. So the people I need to be allied with uh, here. Let's have a look. Uh, there they are. The Luton 34714 prison colony people. As you can see, I'm kind of halfway along um, allied right now. So, halfway along friendly, sorry. So I'm trying to get to allied. Um, and yeah, this is, this is the sort of stuff they're offering me. Oh my god, that's awful. Where did all this come from? Wet work contracts and everything. Uh, that's just too difficult. No, I think we're going to have to do a board hop there and get something a bit more uh, to my taste. Uh, definitely. There we go. Hey, okay, Kathy, uh, no, it's not that bad, no. We're actually we're actually not far away from doing this one. So we'll probably do this one and start another one, if truth be told. Um, so we're, we're, we're fairly close. Um, but this is a very dark and foreboding place. We're in a system called Stopover, um, and its station is called Dark Water. So make that of that what you will. Oh, we got a good black box salvage there for a load of rep. Um, that's a good one. And we got this one. What rep do you get for that? Oh, barely any. No, we don't want that then. So yeah, I think we're going to do this. There we go. Let's nab that. Let's go do that. Okay. Off we go. Yeah, I know, isn't it? Intercessor. It's not good, is it? It's not good. Detachment complete. Maintain correct lane on exit. Oh my god, I still got stuff in my bloody hole as well. Right, okay. So how are you today, Kaitina? You okay?
Out! Out! Get out! Love you, Zuski. Be careful. Oh, it's lovely and warm, isn't it? Eh? Lovely and warm. Are you at the forums today? The forums are alight and on fire with the talk of power play. Yeah, I watched his stream for a while. He's actually, you know, funny enough, he said something today that was so spot on. Yeah, he was talking about how um, the act of doing things for power play should be done in open, and it's it's a viewpoint that has been expressed by a lot of people before, but it actually makes a lot of sense, um, and I completely and utterly agree with it. So I don't know if you're aware of this, but I'll I'll talk about it anyway. Uh, I kind of get where you're coming from. I kind of get where you're coming from. There should be like a special mission, perhaps, that you have to do to do it to get them. It's the waiting, and it? it's the whole idea of, oh, I'm going to sign myself up and then wait three weeks and do absolutely nothing. Yeah, and then the fourth week, get the merits I need and then walk away with the item. You know, it's the whole idea of doing that. That uh, that's how everybody does it. You know, if if you want something like prismatic shields, or you want like, you know, um, pack hounds or anything like that, just sign myself up. Wait three weeks. Do absolutely nothing at all about it. On the fourth week, do something so I fulfill the quota. Boom, I've got my stuff, and then I leave. You know, and then I've got a week of stay away from that faction. Uh, you know what I mean? It just it just seems all messy, the way they do things. So on that, so I completely agree with you. Making making them, you getting the modules a different way, makes sense to me as well. But but the thing that um that is really bold of them is to turn around and say, okay, we're going to make it all in open play, and that makes a lot of sense. And I'll tell you why. Um, if if you're if you're trying to get into a system. Let's say you've got a, a faction, your own player faction, and you're trying to get into a system, and you can't get into that system um, because there's already a player faction there. So the other player faction that's there doesn't want you to come into the system. So it's going to do things to earn successes and merits to stop you getting, you know, any chance of a foothold in that system. Now let's say they do it all in open. But you do it all in private group. They can't touch you. They can't stop you doing what you're doing. You know what I mean? But you could choose to go into open and stop them. But you're doing it all in private, so you're preventing them from, you know, doing. Now, if you're a huge group, if you've got tons and tons of people, and you just sit there in private, and all you do is just hammer the missions. Hmm. 
Yeah, 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 I agree with you. The, the modules should be something separate entirely. Yeah. There we go. There's our black boxes. So where we are. Deployed. Right, this music's doing my head in. I think I'm just keeping getting the same thing over and over again. Let's go to that. Oh, you're kidding me. What? No, why am I getting bloody ships left, right, and center? Under attack. Oh, I knew I'd be getting shot up. Alright, here we go. Come on. Alright, got that one. Where's the next one? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. There's my next one. So oh, I lost my shields. Warning, hull breach attack. Taking internal damage. Doing on this, come on, come on, got it. Objective complete. Incoming mission critical message. Frameship drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Oh, I was close. Hey, how about that? Yeah, exactly, kind of thing. You shouldn't you shouldn't be able to influence it. Anything anything that requires you to, you know, be influenced. You know, anything. Anything that requires you to be uh, influenced in any way. Or the the influence, so to speak, you know. Alright. Um, I'll tell you what, gasping for a, for a, uh, a drink. I've come on here and not even Friendship got a drink. I might have to go and uh, make a brew. Um, so we're going to head our way over to stop over. Uh, getting dark water and then I might go and make a cup of tea. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, uh, I don't know, you see. It's in every MMO, though, kind of thing. You look at every MMO that has an open mode. Personally, personally, I think there's a time and a place for PvP. And I like the way that Guild Wars does it. I like, I like what Guild Wars does. Guild Wars has, you know, PvP events and the PvP areas, you know? Um, and they turn it into an eSport instead of it just being about being ganked, you know. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna make a cup of tea. Well, I think it's I think it's mad. I think it's crazy and mad that there are individuals who do this sort of stuff. You know, what I uh, I don't know. 
I don't know. I'd love to be able to turn around and say, oh, it shouldn't be there. But but there are times when it should. It should be, you know, you should always be under the threat of being attacked. Always. Yeah, that's that's the way it is. I think that's right. You know, it, 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 it simulates just how dangerous the universe is in Elite. Is that there's always somebody there in a bigger ship wanting to take you on. From a power play point of view, it, it should certainly be a part of it, you know. Right. Almost there. Oh, stupid planets, gravitational pull. Maybe, maybe that's maybe that. Oh, look at this! Right, it's going to annoy me. This. I hate when planets do that. You used to be so on the ball. Up, cut a turning arc the size of Canada. Yeah, maybe that is the answer. Yeah, do you know what? It's not a bad shout, that Kythena. It really isn't a bad shout what you say there. Yeah. I, I think that's a, a that's a, a very adult and responsible way of thinking about it. You, know? you want to be involved in PvP? Well, get involved in power play then. Instead of just sitting there and shooting people because you're bored. You know? <laughs> Or make it just make it really difficult for people to do that. Make it really so there's consequences for them for doing that, you know. And and the proper way of doing it is through PvP, you know. Scan detected. Come on, come on. Through we go. There we go. Ow. There we go. Right. Okay. Down. Come on. Down. Yes. Look at that. Didn't get caught in a nacelle or anything. Eh? Right, I'm going to take a very short break. I'm going to go make a quick cup of tea. Um, and then we're going to get on with this. Take note, Commander. A civil war is currently affecting the area. Watch who you side with. Ooh, I need to be careful, do I? Oh, okay. Back in a moment, folks.
Okay. I'm back. What did I miss? Not much. <laughs> um, sorry, Katie. No, I want to wait there for a cup of tea. And I had a biscuit too. Wow. Um, make Power Player Awards much higher. Like, instead of 50 million at rank 5, make it 500 million. Well, that would certainly get people involved, wouldn't it? All of a sudden... Power play would become um, another way of making money. No, nah, because the cream, because the cream all day long. That goes a bit further. Um, oh, it's not even worth it. I'm going to do another board hop. Well, how? Now explain to me how it would kill piracy. Yeah? Oh, you, are you talking about the only time that you could do PvP is when you're doing power play? with all this killing that he wasn't doing, Jesus. Um, you see, it wouldn't kill piracy because some of the power play factions, especially the player factions, are criminal. I mean, to the likes of you and I, who are just purely um, PvE, how would it affect our game? Would it affect our game? I suppose the question is then, why can't you just have, like, you know, quick matches? Yeah, I don't, you know what, though? If you were a PvPer, and you're saying, uh, well, you know, I won't be able to get Joe when he's and he's type 9 cargo hall. Well, I'm not being funny, but if you're a PvPer, you're in a souped-up engineered vessel designed for taking out other players. What possible gain are you going to get out of taking out Joe Public in his type 9 cargo hauler? Not a lot is the answer. You're doing it just for kudos. You're doing it just for fun. And that really, for me... It can it do you know that isn't even PvP, isn't it? The very nature of PvP means player versus player. Well that's not player versus player. That's player versus somebody who doesn't want to fight. Yeah.
Okay, what have we got here? Right, we're gonna do another. We're gonna do another one of these. Well, exactly, Katie. You know, exactly. You know what? I'm not. I'm not even gonna do. I'm gonna do another board hop. Yeah, because this is doing my rockiness. I always thought that PvP, that the fun in PvP, was the thrill of... Oh wow, look, those are donation missions. Um, was the thrill of taking on another player, you know, mano on mano, one on one, and, and seeing how it went, yeah? <laughs> if, if that's not the case anymore, what's the blooming point? Oh, that's pushing that up, isn't it? Hey. Okay. Uh, what's this? What? what oh, man, I don't get no one. Hardly any rep for that. No, we're not doing that. Oh, we're not doing anything. Oh, right, it's another board hop. It's clear. It's clear. We've got to do another board hop. Mano versus Mano. Oh, God, 16. <laughs> hey, Swifty, how you doing? You all right? Uh, I can't remember what I was in there. That's a good one. A good rep. Yeah, I think we're going to take this one here. Let's go do another black box mission. Oh, in fact, before we do that, let's go with this stuff in my cargo hold. It's attracting pirates, full stop of centre. Okay. Right, left and centre, sorry. Um, Right, let's go have some fun. How you doing, Swifty? How's your day today? Did you do your mountain climb today? Did you do your, your hiking? I thought that's what your Type 10 was. You are clear of station restrictions. We hope to see you again, Commander. Frameship drive charging. Oh, well done, mate. But it was a nice view. first, haven't I? In 
we go. Mission critical message. But it's good that you went there and you did it, and in the end it wasn't your feet that was the problem, right? There you go then, Swifty. All good, mate. All good. I'm glad that you're feeling better. Are you streaming later, Swifty? It's always coming down, isn't it? Always coming down the hills that hurts. I used to do a lot of walking. And yeah, coming down the hills was always the problem. Never going up them. Going up them, you're like, oh, she's all right. You know, it feels good. You know, you're pushing yourself. And then coming down him, your calves hurt and your knees hurt. Yeah, like, good God. So just gotta circle this planet a little bit. We should get our uh our mission unidentified source somewhere. Yeah, I hear you swifty. It's all good, mate. It's all good. Though I tell you what, I was talking about old games before. I tell you, I, that'd be good, you know, mate. You doing a, a retro Swift, a retro uh, game night? Yeah, play some of your old games. Yeah, Swift. I'd, I'd watch that, man. I'd be well up for watching that. Yeah, I wonder if there's anybody else out there who streams retro games. Yeah. Do you know what you could do? There was there was this um, there was this documentary on um, on Netflix. I can't remember the name of it now. I think it was called Gamers Delight or something like that. And um, it basically went through every year. Oh, that's me thing. Every year uh, since 1980. And what games came out, and what was so cool about that year, and what was going on with the consoles that year, and about Commodore 64, and the Amiga, and the Spectrum, and, you know, the Atari, yeah? You could do something like that, yeah? Yeah, but you've kind of got a community already, mate, you know what I'm saying? So, you could do something like that, you could be like, oh, okay, so we're gonna... Well, today we're going to do 1981 and play maybe two or three games from 1981. Yeah. 
If you'd let us all know when it's actually going to happen, mate, you know very well I'll plug you. Oh, one more? Really? When did they jump in? Fuck's sake. Alright, I'm getting annoyed. There it is. Come on, come on. There we go, right. Cargo scoop retracted. Cargo scoop deployed. Bloody fight going on outside my window, eh? What's going on? Under attack. Oh yeah, I see. Target oh, target. blowing it up! <sighs> Bloody hell. Frame shift drive charging. Four, three, two, one, engage. Yes, yeah, Swifty, you. You, you, you know what I mean, man? We'll plug it. You know what I mean? I'll plug it in my stream. No problems. Yeah? And I'll post it up where I usually post all my videos. Get it on Reddit, too. Yeah? You be, Mate, I'm telling you, you'd be onto a winner. People really like that stuff, Swifty. I'm telling you, they do. Yeah? A flock of seagulls wait. Yeah, you'll have to get some uh, some 1980s tunes as well. Yeah, like Duran Duran or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Bit of Ultravox. <laughs> Mission objective. There we go. That's what we're after. Right. Here we go again. We only need one of these though. Power ballads! Yeah! He's just singing via. <laughs> yeah? Uh, Vienna. Right. Quickly as we can on this, because I know those guys are going to turn up in a moment. Hey, what are you doing? That's our black box. Got it. Mission objective there we go. Alright. So. Going back to stop over. Oh, I see. Look, they're here. Bloody pirates. See you later, pirates. See if you can catch up with me. Yeah? Nope, didn't think so. Uh, it means nothing to me, Kaithina. <laughs> that was terrible. Do you know how you go to conventions, you know? You have these cons that you go to. Yeah, did you get that? Did you get that, Kaithina? Yeah. Um... You know, you have these conventions that you go to, they're all about different things. Well, I, I like cons, I mean, I go to, I go to conventions all year round. Um, and one, one of the conventions I've been to before, I can't remember the name of it now, 
Yeah, but it was basically a retro gaming convention. It was amazing. Yeah. There was like a Street Fighter Fighter tournament going on there. Like original Street Fighter Fighter tournament. A convention con, I don't know. My friend once texted me and said, Hey, I want to go to Ninja Con. And I went, wow, that sounds amazing. Where's that? He goes, I don't know. I can't find it. But I go to I go to gaming conventions, streaming with tears in my eyes. <laughs> I go to gaming conventions and I go to Comic Con. We have a we have a Manchester Comic Con here. I'm booked in for that. I got me and some friends got some tickets for that. Yeah, that's all good. I'm actually going to a science fiction um, convention. Do you know what I don't, Kythena? But I'm always very jealous. Whenever I see people doing cosplay, I always think to myself, I want to do that. I want to dress up. I want to dress up like Judge Dredd. Yeah, because <laughs> that was my comic, yeah? That's, that's the comic I'm into, you know? <laughs> Oh, you want to go? You want to do it, Swifty? It's an experience, mate. Yeah, it really is. I'm, I'm one of these people too that when they go to Comic Con, I actually go to the comic stands and take a look at the stuff that people are doing, you know. But when I was when I was younger, and in fact, well, I say very young, I still got a subscription of Truth Be Line, the Truth Be Told online. I used to follow uh, all the 2000 AD stuff, so I was a British comic fan, you know. <laughs> And there's always somebody else, Swift, who's copied you, you know. <laughs> I think half the fun of cosplay is going as somebody who's a bit more obscure and only people in the know will recognize you. You know what I mean? Last Manchester Comic Con I went to, there was kind of like a little music thing outside, and uh, it was quite humorous to watch all these people in cosplay doing synchronized dancing. It was quite funny. Jean Luc Picard's hand back. What? I think Deadpool's very funny. Yeah, well, actually, I need to rephrase that. I think that Ryan Reynolds is very funny. Yeah. Kathleen, have you seen the Deadpool and David Beckham advert? Yes, he is. He's very, very funny. Yeah. Now, the thing here, I mean, if you know anything about Ryan Reynolds and you know the importance of him playing Deadpool, because it's a gamer thing, you know? Oh, okay, I think you've got to see it. It's so funny. Yeah. I'll try and find the link for you. Yeah. But, um, oh, so funny. 
but so, you know, it, it's a gamer thing because when the Deadpool game came out, um, you know, Los Santos, la la la. Los <laughs> <laughs> Swifty seen it. Swifty seen the, the video I'm talking about. I'll find it for you. Just give me a moment. There we go. Okay. I wonder if that's it. I think that's it. I don't know. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay, wait a Yeah, that's it. That's the one. There you go. Alright, take a look at that, Kathy. You know, it's very funny. But like I was saying, Ryan Reynolds extremely funny man um he played the voice to deadpool in deadpool the game so when we all heard that ryan reynolds was going to play deadpool in a deadpool movie everybody's like wow it's gonna be great because he was so good in the game he was so funny in the game and of course ryan reynolds is just a funny man anyway i always remember watching um blade um blade three what was it called I can't remember what it was called, Blade 3. It was called something else, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, uh, it, is, it is. Do you know Do you know he suffers from anxiety? He's got um, anxiety problems. Um, so he's like a, bit ad a big advocate for people understanding anxiety and what anxiety is all about. Um, but uh, he... He, he, in uh, in Blade 3, which I can't remember the bloody name of it now, because it wasn't called Blade 3, it was called something else, wasn't it? Um, he he totally and utterly outshone Wesley Snipes, you know. Um. <laughs> um, I'm sure I don't read Twitter, mate. I'm not on Twitter. Okay, we're going to take this. Let's get some rep for this. Oh! I wonder if we've got some nice thingy missions. Donate! Donate! No! Okay. Okay, we'll figure out how much time I'm going to get much for that. Right, we're going to do a, we're going to do a swap. We're going to do a board swap. A board hop. Here we go. Oh, what am I, what am I on? So, right, okay, I need to go to solo. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, he does. Isn't that funny, Kite, either? Yeah? But I was having a conversation about Blade 3, and I was saying how, like, he totally outshone Wesley Snipes, and a friend of mine was like, well, it's not hard to outshine Wesley Snipes, is it? And I was like, that's true. <laughs> You've got a fair point, you know. It's exactly, exactly. It is skill. It's at pure acting talent, that. To be able to just use your voice to portray something. Brilliant. I'm getting annoyed here. I'm not getting anything that I want to actually do. I don't want to shoot people and take, liberate hostages. Why don't you give me something nice and simple that I can do, yeah? I mean, he must be a Deadpool fan. He must be a Deadpool fan because when, when you watch the Deadpool, when, sorry, when you read the Deadpool comics, they're hilarious, and and he must be a Deadpool fan because you totally get, you know, the feel, the same feel as you get when you're reading the comics. So you know, there's that. Uh, right, we got donate. What do we get for? Oh, what? 
They're not making it easy for me, are they? Influence. Maybe a couple of rep. Not really. What am I doing? We need to find... Oh, more black box missions. Come on. Right, I'm going to do a couple more. Here we go. You would have thought, see as I'm friendly with them now, they might actually give me a mission that I could do. Yeah? Oh, it was awesome. It was so funny. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the one we want there. Right there. Okay. I'm going to do another one of these. Is that one of his quotes, Swifty? <laughs> That's funny. Uh, no. Actually, where's that black box going? Where, where are we? Where are we when we're doing that? LHS 449. No, they're not in the same places, are we? Okay. Right, we're going to go out and do this black box. Hopefully... This will push us over the edge. Pirates jumping in. Hey, eh? all I'm trying to do is pick up black boxes. The way we go. Get up, get up. What's going on with that? We got a incoming mission critical message. A planet here called Gold. I will, I will try, Kaithina. I can't promise anything. It makes good viewing if I do. <laughs> Oh, that's me not paying attention. Here 
There we go. Get a little closer. Right, let's just wait for the the mission thing to come up now. Lots of mining stuff going on here, isn't there? <laughs> Are they more of his quotes? I'll tell you who else I like as well, Swifty. Is it that Chris Pratt? The guy from um, Jurassic Park? And uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? He's another actor that makes me laugh. Time and a place for coffee, Kaizina. Oh, there we go, finally. Look at that, Kaizina comes back and the bloody thing comes on. What's going on there? I think this game's raked. That splat box. Let's try to be as quick as we can here. Slow it down to about 30. There you go. First one. Acquired. Second one. Quiet. Third one. Uh, 
Thank you. All cut. Mission That's them telling me that enemies are on the way now. Frame shift drive charging. <laughs> it's a go and collect. <laughs> oh, it would be really funny. If you like, you got you know you lost your big anaconda. You didn't have the money for the rebuy, and you got busted down to a sidewinder. And the first mission you get is go and collect this uh, black box for this anaconda that got blown up <laughs> for like twenty grand or something. Yeah, really pitiful. Okay, I'm hoping that this is the one that gives us the permit for this, because this has been a bit of a pain in the ass, this one. I've not no and you know what, Kythina, I try to avoid the combat missions. Um, just purely because my cutter's not geared out for doing that. I'm, I'm a hauler. When it comes to my cutter, you know, I, I use it for missions and hauling. Um, so I've not actually done the hostage rescue ones. Are they fun? Are they good fun? Is it something I need to do in my um, in my Corvette? Dark Water Station. Just imagine all these peasant ships. To the Dark Water! We've heard the evil lord is staying there. Burn it! You hatch break attack its ship and they all pop. <laughs> and then you've got to collect them? Is, is how it works? <sighs> hey Roland, you don't think that the addition of squadrons will work as planned? Instancy may not allow more than four at once. Okay, fantastic. Well, welcome to the stream. Thank thanks for your opinion. Are you not looking forward to squadrons then? Hey, Shreds! the idea of that though actually that sounds like something I might be interested in Scan detected. oh I think I've screwed this up oh no I haven't look at that wow how did I pull that off uh, I guess I'm just really good that's the reason why I pulled that off Okay. 
Ro Roland, are we having the same conversation? Landing gear deployed. I asked you if you're looking forward to squadrons. <laughs> a lot of practice, Kaithi. You know, like I said, I, I know how to pilot a cutter, and I never use an auto dock. I have never ever used an auto dock in this game. Uh, okay, let's see if that gives us our. Um, there we go. Oh, <laughs> it's so painfully close. Oh, okay. We well, forgot they can give us some good rep. Da -da -da -da. Oh, there we go. This is going to do it. A black box salvage contract for refinery. You know what I'm saying? Roland, Roland, but we're not talking about squadrons and carriers. I asked you if you're looking forward to it, Roland. Is Roland a bot? Roland, if you're not a bot, tell me you're not a bot. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to kick you. <laughs> hey, Zan, how you doing? Okay, we're going to take this one. Yes. Okay. Oh, how many of these black boxes do they want? Roland, are you listening to me? Ro oh. I don't think Roland's listening to me. What do you think, guys? <laughs> Zan, I think he's a bot, mate. <laughs> Thanks, Kai Tina. <laughs> I know, right? Like, it's okay. You just have your own conversation, guys. I'll just carry on playing the game, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> You had to finish your thought? Oh, I'm so, I'm so glad you joined us. <laughs> so I'll ask you again. I take it you're not looking forward to squadrons then. I clearly have your own party. Yeah, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just hang away. Yeah, I'll just hide. So, right, you guys go for it. Ch chat about what you want, yeah. <laughs> You're not really looking forward to it, Roland. Okay, well, that's fine. You know what I mean? You don't have to be a part of it when it comes. Have you thought about um, maybe posting on the forum your thoughts? I prefer yummy. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Well, you know you can go, Swifty. <laughs> I 
Right. Uh, Roland, um, I, I have been interdicted by Roland 3, and I survived it. Clear the station perimeter. Be careful out there, Friendship Commander. Drive charging. Ready to engage. Yes, and I agree with you. Roland, Roland, I need you to just... Fuel scooping. Just be a little bit more positive about things, Fuel if you could. This is quite a positive stream. I, I don't tend to sit here and just go on about the bad things in Elite. I quite enjoy playing Elite. Tell me something you like about the game, Roland. Incoming mission critical message. Combat log. <laughs> you press save and close again. Oh my god, this is 321,000 light seconds away. No wonder it's got such a high rep. Oh, how annoying. Okay, right, so I guess we're doing this for a while. Now, you that is something that's going to be interesting, Roland. Um, so, the whole um, exploration and mining, they're kind of combining the two together. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds in it until death. <laughs> it's ten minutes. Ten minutes of pain. No, <laughs> it's not good. You want a quiz? Really? What sort of quiz do you want?
Stick a chain! Stay a while and listen. Same hey, Roland. Okay, do you want a do you want a science fiction movie quiz? What do you reckon, guys? You want a science fiction movie quiz? Oh, Deckard's got a murder cutter. I like it. Let's see if we can find a science fiction movie quiz, shall we? Okay, yeah, see, these are some good ones. Some of these are really hard, though, so we'll be really testing you. Yeah. Okay, which TV series was based on the novel Cyborg by Martin Caden? Lax. <laughs> Indeed it does roll. I'm not liking this. 240,000 my seconds. It's not good. Six million dollar man. Well done, Deckard. Well done. I am impressed. I thought nobody would get that. Uh, okay. Um, Alright, it's a bit of an easy one this, but we'll see what you come up with. Um, which former Mr. World and Mr. Universe played the part of the Hulk in the Incredible Hulk TV series. Morgan Mindy. <laughs> nanu, Nanu. Mark calling Orson. Come in, Orson. Louis Freino. Funnily enough, I met him at a comic con. Um, uh, oh, this is a good question. This is a very good question. In which century does Star Trek take place? <laughs> Louis. <laughs> yeah, however it's spelled. <laughs> Can I see the one that? Can I see has got a point? The 23rd century is what is correct. Absolutely spot on, Roland. Um, here's a good one. Uh, which, oh, which actually, which series is a really good question. So I'm telling, it's the it's the first one. It's the original series, Star Trek, the original series. Um, so yes, 23rd century. Um, who wrote and directed? The 1971 science fiction film THX 1138. I don't even need to look at the answers for this one. That is, that's right, Swifty. It's George Lucas. That's George Lucas, um, he, when he was in uh, university, learning about 
making films. That was the film he made, THX um, 1138. And then when he left university and he did Star Wars, he got a bit of money behind him and he did it. He brought it out. He actually redid it, refilmed it and brought it out. The Loach. <laughs> what was the name of the atomic submarine featured in the TV series Voyage to the Bottom of the Sea? I know this as well. <laughs> no clue? No? Nobody know the answer? Not fair because I am ancient. <laughs> Sea view! Well done, Deckard. Okay, Roland, you take care, my friend. I hope you have a beautiful day. Shall we give you a nice easy one? Yeah, we'll give you a nice easy one. You ready? Which character, played by actor Craig Charles, is the sole survivor of the Red Dwarf? Full name, please. Full name, not just the name he's known by. It is easy, Kaisina. I said full name, Swifty. Full name. Kaisi just got it right. <laughs> Not what his alias is or what he's known as. Should we have another easy one? Who is the author of the Discworld series? The Discworld series. Chris Pratt. What? Yes, you're correct, Kaithina. Terry Pratchett. Not a clue, really? Okay, then. Uh, here's a good one. Who captained Stingray? Who captained Stingray? These people get them correct. We need to get out more. <laughs> no answer? Who? Who Captain Stingray? These are tough ones, aren't they? They're not very easy, these. Yes, you're right. Troy Tempest, Kaitina. Troy Tempest. Uh, here's a nice easy one. Um, who played the fourth Doctor in Doctor Who? <laughs> I 
stop using Google. <laughs> That mank bloke. <laughs> Fourth Doctor, Swifty. Fourth Doctor. This is old school Doctor, okay? This is 1970s. It's not, no, it's not straight up. But I'll be honest with you, this is, you have met him in WH Smiths. Yes. But um, this is the easiest one because all you have to do is guess he was also the one who was the longest running doctor. No? Yes. Tom Baker. Okay, right, we made it, we made it to LHS 38. I hope I'm at the, at the right place. My God, I'll be pissed off if I'm not. All right, yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. So I just got to fly around here a bit now. Well, what's your thing, Zan? What's 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 your science fiction geek out? Yeah, what is it you enjoy? Awesome, I remember V. The visitors. Here we go. First one. It was stolen from Twilight Zone. I really didn't know that. There you go. I learned something today. Have you seen the new Lost in Space Slam on Netflix? Mission objective complete. Incoming mission critical message. Cargo scoop retracted. Wow, I didn't know that. I didn't know that it was uh, 
It came from... Oh, the old school lost in space. You mean Land of the Lost or Land of Giants? I remember that as well. I think Land of Giants was the only old school um Danger Will Robinson. Danger Will Robinson, my arms are flailing wildly. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Fuel scooping. Fuel scoop disengaged. Star Trek is taken from the Lensman series? Really? Okay, Swifty, you take care, my friend. I'll speak to you soon. Really? I did not... Do you know what? I, I've got the Lensman series. I thought that the Lensman series was about... superhuman people. They even turned the Lensman into an anime, didn't they? Oh, kid, okay. We're almost there now. Oh, this has been a tough one to crack, this one. When you say you watch anime, Zan, is it like modern anime, like Dragon Maid and stuff like that? Or do you watch old school anime like me? I watch old school anime. So I was a big Robotech fan, and Macross and all that. Yeah, I was huge into that. Um, Golgo 13, Ghost in the Shell, all the Ghost in the Shell stuff. Um, I'm currently in the middle of watching Claymore. don't know if that means anything. These names mean anything at all. That was my thing. I don't watch modern anime as much. Yeah, I, I wasn't into modern anime, like Dragon Maid and all that. It wasn't, it's not my kind of thing, you know. And uh, sort of Gundam Wing, sort of, you know. Uh, not all of them. Shreds through the day. I did two in two in, in like the space of three hours. Yeah. So if you get the right missions, it, they're easy to do. They really are. Yeah. It's just a matter of time. Um, nah. Gundam was never my thing, mate. Gundam was never my thing. Don't get me wrong. It's not like I'm gonna, you know, say it's not anime or anything. I think it is. Um, 
request approved. Clear to land at Docking Bay 3-2. Right, here we go. Let's touch this down and get this in. Landing gear deployed. There we go. Touch down. Right. Yeah, yeah. But uh, Van Manen, yeah, Van Manen was something I got very quickly. Yeah. There we go. Fully allied. Oh, thank God for that. Right, can we have this please? Oh, I've got to come out of the mission thing. And go back in. Uh, and go to that. And got that. Yay, there we go. Right, let's go have a look. Let's go have a look at this place that we just got. Luton 347 14. No. You've only got a couple of permits left to unlock shreds, is that what you're saying? Yes, I am not quad elite. I am still only triple elite. <laughs> but we were talking the other day about doing some, uh, you know. Uh, oh, you're doing yeah, good trades. Oh, okay, then, Shreds, no problems. Uh, we were talking the other day about um, doing some QCQ. QCQC. QCQ. <laughs> we were talking about doing some CQC. Baby, get you all together and do some CQC at some point, it's fun. We'll have to wait and see. Alright. Yeah, CQC, not QCQ. QCQC, QC, QC, QC. Right, okay then. So, Luton has got um, all these players. Oh, got some prospecting places here. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, it's got some planets and stuff. It looks pretty straightforward. Let's go and uh, stop off at the port. And it's got a, a, a low extraction point here. The big 3E is what it's all about, Jess. That's what it's all about. Cusi, cusi, cusi. Can I think that? Cusi, cusi. Si, cusi, cusi, cu. CQ 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 C <laughs> Sounds like I'm trying to lure one of them them uh, anxiety hamsters from the other system we were at the other day. Hey Q C Q C Q C Q C
There's loot. <laughs> Overpriced sandwiches. Probably. Probably, yeah. <laughs> do I have a, an orbital trickers permit? I don't know what you're talking about, Jess. <laughs> as soon as anybody says to me hut an orbital I'm immediately on the defensive I've heard them all mate and yes I've been out to an orbital several times I used to make a lot of money going out to an orbital You used to be able to stack the uh, data delivery missions in uh, Alpha Centauri. Every one of them was like 4 million. You get like 20 of them. I made 80 million easy. They're a very large, what you call it, um, player group. Or an orbital truckers. It is locked, but I got it unlocked. I've done Van Man and Star. I am a trucker, I am a hauler. That's what I do. That's 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 my main thing in the game. I do combat, I do exploration, but I earn all my money doing trucking. I earn all my money doing hauling. Okay. Um, so let's have a look first of all at the commodities here. Take a look and see if there's any rares. Don't think there is. I'll have a quick look. Nope, there's not any any rares here. Uh, they are supplying gold, though, and palladium. Very small amount. What else is supplying? Hydrogen. And the retail. Okay, so you got some other stuff to supply in there, too. That's good. I'm a bad mud trucker. You better believe it. B -b 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 bad I'm going to do a bit of blues. Yeah? Sing the blues, Kythina. How's that? <laughs> okay. How's that? A bit of, bit of mouth organ for you, live, live, live on the stream. <laughs> okay, dokey. So, yeah, I'm not really feeling it here. It's not really anything, you know. Your speakers have melted, Jess. This is me! When I'm ever quiet. It's just... <laughs> It's my, it's my Discord going crazy, Sam. That's what it is. <laughs> Let's have a look at the mission board. See who's on here. Okay, so... Uh, got a confederation. Uh, Intercessor Rusty Franco Salas. What a name! <laughs> Okay then. <laughs> Let me get the workers of Santi Independence. 
social NHS 449 in the partnership. And there's the prison colony that we just got this stuff from. Uh, no problem, Zan. I'm, I'm, I'm here to help. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I thought I thought it was the workers of sanity for a moment then. Workers of sanity independence. Councillor Bryant Simmons. Right, how do you pronounce his name? Intercellar, intercellar, intercessor, Hong Futst, is that? Okay, Jess, you take care, mate. Do you pronounce that name? Hong Fuchs. <laughs> it's not Fuchs, is it? Is that his, his name's Fuchs? <laughs> she give a fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about your name, Hong. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Lovely. <laughs> uh, so they're giving me some pretty good missions there. I could probably think of like getting, you know, tagged here some way, shape or fashion. You know. Uh, what else do you got here? Oh, they got a black market. And an interstellar factors as well. Would you Adam and Eve it? A prison colony was an interstellar factor. <laughs> it was the adult systems adult entertainment. It's a prison guy for you though. What are you talking about adult entertainment? <laughs> People come here for correction, not for entertainment. <laughs> oh, dare you, me. Ah. So we can pay off any fines you want here, if you want. There's no fines, unfortunately. we got a black market. got nothing to sell in the black market, so we're all good. Excellent. Let's look at passenger missions. Any yeah, of those? See, so transport prisoners, is it? Sightseeing adventures. People who actually live here? <laughs> He's handy with handcuffs. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet. Alright, uh, where's the prison colony? What did they ask for? Transport. Wants to go to a glorious nebula. Lovely. Delightful. Yeah. That's a bit dodgy. Okay then. Right, fine. Right, well. <laughs> on that note, I think we're going to bring this stream to a close. Uh, we've had a bit of fun. Um, so if you haven't done so already, uh, please like and subscribe, um, or if you're watching on Twitch, please follow me. Um, take a look at the description of this video, you'll see a bunch load of content creators, uh, many of them from the Magpie Mafia, uh, which is the community that I'm on the most. If you get yourself on there, if you want to get yourself on there, you're a content creator and you want me to add you to the list, I've got more than no problems doing so. I, I've got absolutely no issues at all with adding you to that. Um, also, in addition, is some Discord servers. My Discord server's on there in case you want to get hold of me. A link through to the Magpie Mafia Discord server, along with a link to my friend Swifty, uh, Ineffectual Gaming. He's got a Discord server and his streams on there too. So please take a look at the description of the video if you've not done so already. And remember, Commanders, no matter how hard it may be to actually get to break into a prison, never mind breaking out, they will never ever take the skies from us. <laughs>